That, that question is pretty generic, I have to say. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be. Okay, first of all, can you tell me what kind of a movie is this? Not like the whole plot, but what kind of movie? Oh man, these are always the difficult ones. Uh, <laughs> what kind of movie is it? I think it's a kind of, it's a big, old-fashioned, uh, romantic melodrama. Uh, it's kind of similar to, it's similar to movies that were made in the period it's set in, I think. It has a, it has a, it has a similar feeling. Great. What attracted you to doing this project? Um, I, uh, I really like the story to begin with, and, um, and then I met, uh, Ty, the elephant who plays Rosie, and had an incredible experience with her, and, uh, I pretty much decided to do it as soon as I met the elephant, and I found that recent Christoph were in it, and the amount of, when I was, I was talking to Francis for a long time, and I, I really liked his take on things, and he was telling about the crew he'd got together, and there was something like, 20 Oscar winners involved. I mean, it was, it's, he had, he had an impressive lineup of, of, of features to the project. Um, it was a kind of, it was a very easy decision to say yes to. Cool. Mm. And you touched a little bit on this, but what was it, what was it like first meeting Ty, the elephant? Um, it was kind of, I've, I've never been, I've, I don't think I'd ever seen an elephant up close in the flesh before. Um, so even that in itself is just, Quite impressive, but I walked around this corner, and she was at the place where she lives with five other elephants. And Gary, had the trainer, said, like told them all to sit, and they, these huge mountains just sit down like as if they're little puppies. And it's just it kind of blew my mind. Was seeing these kind of they look like huge rocks sitting around, you. and uh, I just yeah. As soon as I met her, I just wanted to work with her, and I, I kind of. I felt like I had some sort of connection with her at the beginning, but I think it was just because I was feeding her jelly beans all the time. But um, but she's great. She's like a really, a really, really incredible creature. Did you learn anything from her as an actor? Um, uh, <laughs> I don't really know. I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess if I was playing an elephant, I'd have... <laughs> It's <laughs> something like she's a great actress for as far as elephants go, so I would uh, I definitely watch her performance in this for inspiration. <laughs> okay, what does Jacob find most attractive about Marlena? Um, I think, I mean, he's like a kid who grew up on a farm. I mean, he's studying to be a vet. I mean, being at vet school in the thirties, I don't think there are a huge amount of girls like in the class. I mean, I think when I was looking at research of Cornell in 1930, 1929, there's like one girl and she really looks like she's like the only girl in the vet school. I mean, she's kind of blah. But um, I think Reese and Marlena just look so impossibly glamorous to him. I mean, and also in the context of this dirty, filthy environment, she still manages to maintain this. She looks like a movie star walking around like in piles of manure everywhere. I mean. She she looks like a, a diamond, and uh, and I think Jacob's a bit of a a romantic, and kind of his imagination runs away with him, and he just refuses to see her as anything else other than this like angel. Um, but then, like most guys, would become disillusioned when they get to know her. But the more he gets to know her, the more it kind of reinforces his opinion. Um, yeah, which is which is quite nice. And what can you tell me, why do you think your fans are going to like this movie? Your fans, you have like a couple of them, I don't know if you know them. <laughs> well, I think my mom will like it, because <laughs> she's the, um, I don't know, I mean, I think, uh, I, I think it definitely has a lot of, like, you know, romantic elements to it. Um, I don't know, I don't really know what they want, I mean, I think it's a pretty beautiful movie, I think it's different to, to a lot of other stuff that's come out, I haven't seen anything like it in a few years. And um, I don't know, I think when I was making it, it really felt like I was transported away somewhere else. So hopefully that will be captured in the movie and you feel like it when you're watching it. Uh, yeah, I hope. <laughs> okay, great.